What if I told you the last clear images we'll ever get of Pluto reveal a frozen heart that might still be beating, a moon painted red by its parent planet, and a strange, untouched object deeper in space than anything we've ever seen? This is the story of New Horizons, a mission that shattered what we thought we knew about the edge of our solar system, and may have uncovered clues to something far more ancient and possibly not so natural. It started with a blur, a distant dot, cold and forgotten at the edge of the solar system. For decades, Pluto was little more than a mystery, a smudge of light in our telescopes, dismissed as a frozen rock too far away to care about. But in 2006, NASA launched something special, a small spacecraft called New Horizons, racing faster than anything humanity had ever sent into space. Its mission? Reach Pluto before anyone else and reveal what no one had ever seen. And when it got there, nine years later, what it found was breathtaking. A giant icy heart carved into the surface, towering mountains made of solid water, and an atmosphere that shouldn't even exist. But the story didn't end there, because New Horizons kept going, deeper, farther, until it encountered something even stranger, a silent relic from the birth of the solar system. For most of modern astronomy, Pluto was a cosmic afterthought, too small, too far, too dark. It was discovered in 1930 and then quietly ignored by science for decades. Some textbooks barely gave it a paragraph. Others didn't even bother with a photo because we didn't have one. From Earth, all we could see was a blurry dot. Even the mighty Hubble Space Telescope couldn't do better than a few colored smudges. Then came 2006. As debates raged about whether Pluto should even be considered a planet, NASA launched New Horizons, a lightweight spacecraft no larger than a baby grand piano, but with the fastest launch speed in human history. How fast? It passed the moon in just nine hours. That's ten times faster than Apollo. But this wasn't just a race. This was a mission of redemption. A chance to finally take a closer look at the last unexplored world from our original nine planets. Why Pluto? because Pluto sits at the gateway to the Kuiper Belt, a mysterious region beyond Neptune filled with icy bodies and cosmic leftovers from the early days of the solar system. Scientists believed that if we could see Pluto up close, we might unlock secrets about how planets form, how our solar system evolved, and maybe even find clues to what else is hiding out there in the dark. But no one really expected Pluto to be beautiful. Most thought it would be a dull, cratered ice ball. What New Horizons found instead changed everything. And as the spacecraft drifted closer, slowly, pixel by pixel, Pluto began to reveal itself. Not a rock, but a world. Coming up, the first images that stunned scientists and the mysterious shape that made headlines around the globe. After more than nine years of silent travel through the void, New Horizons finally approached its target, and almost instantly the mission began to feel… different. Every day, the spacecraft sent back a few more pixels, a little more detail, like a photograph slowly developing in the dark room of deep space. The data was slow, just one kilobit per second, but what it revealed was worth every second. As the blurry dot of Pluto grew into a discernible sphere, the world began to show its face. Shadows moved across cratered ridges, hints of ice reflected light from a distant sun, and then something appeared. A giant, light-colored shape across Pluto's surface is unexpected, symmetrical, and unmistakably heart-shaped. It was a poetic twist the universe didn't have to give us, but it did. Later named Sputnik Planitia, the heart of Pluto, became the symbol of the mission. But beneath its beauty, scientists saw something more. This wasn't a static world. It was alive. There were shifting ices, smooth plains, even evidence of recent geological activity. 
Pluto wasn't some ancient relic frozen in time. It was dynamic and hiding secrets far more complex than anyone had dared to imagine. The excitement grew with every image. The public followed the mission like a global countdown. And on July 14, 2015, New Horizons reached its closest point just 12,500 kilometers above Pluto's surface. But at that moment, the spacecraft went silent, not because it failed, but because it was too busy taking hundreds of high-priority photos to transmit anything back. All we could do was wait. Hours passed, then days. And when the first full-resolution images finally arrived on Earth, they revealed something no one was prepared for. Towering ice mountains, glacial flows, strange chemical compounds, and a planet that just might be reshaping itself from the inside out. Now we will uncover what New Horizons discovered during its historic flyby and why Pluto may be one of the most mysterious objects in the entire solar system. When the first detailed images of Pluto arrived, scientists didn't just gasp, some of them cried. What they saw wasn't a dead rock, it was a living world sculpted by forces no one expected to find 7.5 billion kilometers from the Sun. At its core lay Sputnik Planitia, the giant icy heart seen from space. But this wasn't just a pretty landmark, it was a massive glacier the size of Texas, made almost entirely of nitrogen ice. On Earth, nitrogen is a gas. On Pluto, it flows like water. Scientists noticed something strange about the ice plains. No craters. That meant they were geologically young, possibly less than 10 million years old. The surface showed signs of convection cells, polygon-shaped patterns caused by slow, churning flows of ice rising and falling like a cosmic stew. Surrounding these plains were towering mountains as high as the Rockies, but these were not made of rock. They were made of solid water ice, so cold and strong it behaves like granite. And nestled among these icy peaks were structures that looked suspiciously like volcanoes, but they didn't spew lava. They erupted with ammonia and water, possibly even organic materials. These were cryovolcanoes, ice volcanoes, and Pluto had more than one. One of them, Wright Mons, stood four kilometers tall and had a deep central pit. It looked quiet, but far from dead. Across the surface, there were dark scars, regions like Cthulhu macula covered in reddish-black material. The source? A strange compound called tholins, formed when ultraviolet light hits simple molecules like methane and nitrogen. These tholins may sound alien, and they kind of are. They're complex, sticky, and prebiotic. The same stuff that could exist on the early Earth, but Pluto wasn't just hiding secrets on its surface. New Horizons detected a tenuous but real atmosphere made of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. Unlike Earth's dense air, Pluto's atmosphere extends high above the surface, with up to 20 separate haze layers like ghostly curtains suspended in the void. These hazes refract sunlight in eerie ways. In one photo, mountains cast shadows through blue mist, like something from a dream. Even more bizarre? Pluto's atmosphere changes with the seasons. It can expand or collapse entirely, depending on how close Pluto is to the Sun in its elongated orbit. In fact, the pressure on Pluto can increase fourfold in just one Earth year. And deep in one region, scientists even spotted what looked like a frozen lake. Not water, liquid nitrogen. It's a world that shouldn't be alive, but somehow it is. And yet, even that wasn't the strangest part. Because just beyond Pluto's mountains and ice plains, another world was quietly watching. A world so closely bound to Pluto, they orbit one another like a pair of locked dancers forever facing each other. But this moon was hiding a secret of its own. A red stain, a cosmic fingerprint, left behind 
by Pluto itself. Just above Pluto, orbiting so closely it almost touches it, is a moon unlike any other, Charon. It's so massive, relative to Pluto, that they don't orbit like a normal planet and moon. Instead, they both circle around a shared center of gravity that lies in the space between them. They are tidally locked, eternally facing one another, a gravitational standoff frozen in time. And here is where things get strange. As New Horizons approached, it captured something unexpected. A deep red cap smeared across Charon's North Pole. It was haunting, alien, and beautiful. But what could paint a moon like this? Scientists believe the answer comes from Pluto itself. You see, Pluto's thin atmosphere is constantly leaking into space. And thanks to its weak gravity, some of those organic particles, tholins, escape entirely. Like a whisper on the wind, they drift through the darkness and fall gently onto Charon. Over time, these particles settle at the poles, where temperatures are cold enough to trap them permanently. Charon's red cap is a gift from Pluto, a cosmic tattoo that marks their bond. Two bodies, locked in orbit, exchanging matter, shaping one another's identities. While Pluto hides its frozen heart, it leaves a mark on the one world that always sees it, a poetic symmetry. But Pluto and Charon were only the beginning, because beyond them, far deeper into the Kuiper Belt, New Horizons had one last stop to make. No one had ever seen it before. It was too small, too far, too dark. But just before reaching Pluto, astronomers pointed the Hubble Space Telescope into the abyss and found something waiting. A strange, untouched object shaped like a snowman and possibly older than any world we've ever visited. Just when it seemed the mission had given us all it could, New Horizons kept going. But this time, it wasn't heading toward a known destination. It was diving into uncharted space, a region so remote, no spacecraft had ever been there before. Months before reaching Pluto, astronomers pointed the Hubble Space Telescope into the void, hoping to find a second target. What they found was a faint, distant speck, something barely visible even to Hubble, a body later named Arakoth. It was so small, so remote, that we discovered it after launching the spacecraft that would visit it. That alone was a first in human history. Arakoth lies over 6.5 billion kilometers from the sun, drifting through the cold and quiet Kuiper belt like a message in a bottle. It took another three and a half years after Pluto for New Horizons to catch up. And when it did, on January 1st, 2019, the first images trickled back, and the world was stunned. Arakoth didn't look like an asteroid. It didn't look like a comet. It looked like a snowman. Two distinct lobes fused together in a shape known as a contact binary, something rarely seen up close. But more than its shape, it was the absence of violence that told a deeper story. Arakoth had almost no impact craters. Its surface was smooth, undisturbed, and eerily quiet. Unlike the scarred worlds of the inner solar system, this object had been preserved, untouched for over four billion years. It's not just a rock. Arakoth is a time capsule frozen snapshot of the solar system before the planets even form. Its reddish color comes from tholins, again those complex organics altered by radiation. But its chemistry held surprises. New Horizons detected methanol, water ice, hydrogen cyanide, and one mystery compound that no one has yet identified. Something on Arakoth absorbs light at a very specific wavelength, 1.8 microns, but nothing we've cataloged matches it. We may have discovered a substance never seen anywhere else. Even its temperature was a surprise. Models predicted Arakoth should be around 12 to 14 Kelvin, but it was almost 30. Something deep inside may still be giving off heat. And then there's its shape. From a distance, Arakoth seemed symmetrical. 
but as scientists studied the data, they realized it was fatter than expected. Not a round snowman, more like a pressed one. Some believe this flattening could be from centuries of sunlight heating only one side at a time, releasing gases and reshaping the body slowly over millennia. Or maybe it formed this way, two fragile bodies orbiting each other, spiraling inward until they touched and stayed that way forever. The collision? Likely slower than a walking pace, just two meters per second. And that's what makes Arakoth so important. It didn't crash into other bodies. It didn't shatter. It survived, perfectly frozen in time, since the birth of everything we know. And maybe, just maybe, it still holds answers we haven't learned to ask yet. New Horizons captured one last image of Arakoth as it drifted away, a pale silhouette against the stars. It may be the last time any human-built object will ever see it, but the journey isn't over, because out there, beyond even this ancient relic, New Horizons continues to fly. As New Horizons drifted beyond Arakoth, it turned one last time to look back, and what it captured was silent, a dark silhouette suspended against a sea of stars. There was no celebration, no roar of engines, no countdown, just the quiet hum of a machine 6.6 .6 billion kilometers from home, whispering back the final images we may ever see of these distant worlds. And yet, something about that silence felt complete. Pluto, not just a frozen rock, but a world with glaciers that flow, volcanoes that erupt ice, and a heart that seems to beat beneath the surface. Charon, a companion moon marked by the breath of its planet. Arakoth, a cosmic time capsule older than Earth, untouched by violence, holding secrets from before the planets were born. New Horizons didn't just take pictures. It changed our understanding of what's possible at the edge of the solar system. And it's not done yet. The spacecraft still has fuel in its tank. Its instruments are alive. And now NASA wants to give it a new mission to turn New Horizons into the most distant observatory ever built. It could study ultraviolet light from distant galaxies, detect rogue planets, maybe even help us understand the true shape of the heliosphere that surrounds our solar system. Think about that. A tiny probe launched in 2006, flying silently through interstellar space, still sending us data, still rewriting the books. And somewhere out there, beyond where even sunlight begins to fade, New Horizons is watching, waiting, listening, ready for whatever comes next. If these distant worlds gave us this much wonder, imagine what's hiding in the galaxies beyond. The James Webb Telescope may have already found something that changes everything. Watch this next video and discover the possible alien signal that has astronomers holding their breath.